Good morning, folks. Welcome, observers. Today, we've got a big story coming out of the May 2024 solar storm. We'll see the largest radio cosmic jet ever seen. We'll peek in on weather in the Indian Ocean, and we're starting, as always, with the last 24 hours on our star. Quite a bit to discuss here. Coronal hole directly facing Earth, several solar flares erupting from the sunspot group on the north ahead of the coronal hole. One of those flares may have put out a CME towards the Earth just about two hours ago. We are waiting for SOHO coronagraphs to update. Meanwhile, there's still certain a lot to watch for on our star. Continued flaring, filament releases, and the coronal hole solar wind enhancement. Let's take a look at that sunspot group. It is beginning to depart up north here, heading for the far side. That region has had several flare pops that were too impulsive to make CMEs, and as we wait for the coronagraphs to update today, showing whether or not there was a CME produced this morning, we're actually waiting for two updates. Folks, the GOES coronagraph is technically non-operational, but only technically. The new coronagraph that will take the lead when the SOHO satellite fails is now delivering near real-time data. We now have two excellent ways to track solar eruptions. Let's go next to weather, and we're looking at the Indian Ocean where two cyclones are heading into the central waters of the sea. Good news is both sisters are expected to swing southward and make no significant landfalls. Up next, Massive cosmic jets. They are the north-south linear explosions of material from the central cores of galaxies, the galactic jets. Today, we report on the discovery of the largest radio filament jet that they've ever seen. They say it stretches more than 200,000 light years long, more than double the diameter of the Milky Way galaxy. They say it must have emerged when the universe was billions of years younger. Now lastly, on the article front, folks, it's been a decade that scientists have known that solar storm impacts of significant size can add a third Van Allen radiation belt around the planet. While it has happened before, they've never seen an event like this one, with a record-shattering duration of the proton belt within the third toroidal ring. Since we know that solar eruptions were not titanic in May of 2024, but somehow their Earth impacts were, we have to suggest that this is about the 20th line of evidence that Earth's weakening magnetic field made that solar storm much worse than it should have been. A quick message from Gold Co. We are observers just like you. We understand the delicate and changing potential of the future. As a backstop in the current economy, as a survival commodity during the intermediate aspects of the disaster cycle, one to five years, gold and silver will save as many lives then as bullets and seeds do in the five years after the pole shift. Folks, right now, it's a safety net. Someday, it'll be useless. And I'm absolutely confident that that intermediate period will be at least two to three years. There's a reason serious preppers don't skip metal. Why not go with one of our own? Goldobservers.com. Don't forget, major events coming the rest of the year at Observer Ranch. Head to ObserverRanch.com to see the events, book your stay, and soon, use the Observer Bot for free. That's ObserverRanch.com, and we greatly appreciate your support. We'll do this all again tomorrow, right here, but right now. It's 5 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.